Good evening, everyone. It's, it's Teresa with Jeremiah Dreams. How is everybody, everybody doing? doing? You guys, it's been a little bit tonight since I've been able to come on here and go live. And let me just let you know, as you come in, please say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, I am on Craft Family Family Clock tonight, Craft and Clock tonight, I am and also streaming live to YouTube. So everybody come on in and let's just have a great time together. I'm excited about some things that I've got to show you tonight. So say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you can hear okay. I hope you can. I hope you can everything balanced out well. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm so glad to see you this evening. What, what do you know? What are you doing know? today? I'm like, today? I'm like, I'm like, that's my brain. Everything's going out jumbled. Hi, Tracy. How are you, my sweet friend? I'm so glad to see you. There's my friend, Rhea. How are you? And just, if you're just now popping on, I'm also live on YouTube. It's just like, I'm back in my studio and all the things are set up and we're just having at it this evening. So um, it is recording in there. And hey, Charlotte, how are you, my friend? Hey, Charlotte. You guys, hey Susan from Indiana. I am so glad you're here. Listen, you guys, even you guys on YouTube, y'all do me an amazing favor and let your friends know by hitting that share button and let them know I'm here. Let them know that we're doing some fun things because I would love y'all. I'm only about 114 away from 6,000. I just can't even believe that I'm so close, but yet so far from that magic number we all strive for. But I'm doing good, Charlotte. You guys, I'm I've doing had a good, Charlotte. Weekend with my babies, and I know you guys saw the pictures. Y'all were commenting on them. And commenting y'all, they are just. Oh. Oh. There, there, there are no words. There are just no words. Listen, Listen we're going to get right on into it because, right into it because what we're doing tonight takes a little bit of time. But I'm so excited. So y'all share away. Let your friends know. Hit the hearts, y'all. Facebook wants to see all the interaction. They want to see you guys talking amongst yourselves. They, they want to see the hearts going. Hearts so as you're watching, if you see something you like, hit that heart. Hey, Lisa Kid, how are you, my friend? I'm so glad you're here. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is a little bit um, tedious. You're going to want to see up close and personal. Let me change my view over here. Change my view over here on YouTube um, so that they can see what's going on too. And I'm going to bring you guys on Facebook a little bit closer so you can see my workspace. Okay, now I've kind of got this covered up. Let's see if I can get it just a little bit better. But if I do too much, I can't see your comments. So I got to. Hi, Janice. How are you, my friend? And Dolores, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. Listen, we're at 30 viewers on Facebook. If we hit 50, somebody's name is going in my blessing jar. So you guys share away. Let them know. Okay, right, let's I have to show you first of all. I want to move this because I just put it there to kind of cover things up. So, so you guys remember we went on that trip uh, to Metropolis, a bunch of us from Craft Around the Clock and Creators and stuff. And, and I, I found this very found cool this antique, antique guys. You it's, got, it's, it's a little fragile. fragile. This, this frame is very, very um, raw wood, wood and it's chalk on both sides. sides. It's got That's some nicks nick in it. There's a a oh, hole, I guess, where you could probably hang, hang it on the wall, wall if you wanted to. It's it very, wall. very cool. It's um, very, very cool. But I want to turn this into a sign for my coffee bar. I've been thinking about, about this for a long, long time, time, and I just haven't done it. So I thought, uh -huh. now's, now's the time. time. Now that I kind of know what I want to do. So, so let, let me kind of set this to the side, side because what I want to show you is I have a stencil. This is a magnolia stencil. And let me show you what it says. It says... It I'm says, not addicted to coffee. We're, we're just, just in a committed relationship. relationship. This, this is, is what, what I'm going to put in my coffee bar area. area. And I think it's going to be super cute. Now, now listen, I'm also going to kind of uh, divide it up a little bit because I don't want it to just be want square. It be, want it so to just we're going to start by getting this off. And there's a secret way to do this. And I've done it before. It's just not going to work for me tonight. I should have probably. Oh, there it comes. We're good. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. This is what I'm going to do. I want to start, and I'm going to put part of the message near the top to the left. Near the top to the left. Just like this. Now, this is a more of a silk screen kind of stencil. I want to make sure I get it kind of straight because it's not really straight yet. Hang on. 
Let's get this going the right way. Make sure y'all can see well. I'll move the, the surface a little bit. This is better. I feel like this is a little more straight. I feel like this is a little more straight. Okay. Let's see if I can't get this in a little better position. So I also have some chalk paste. Let's see if I can get it open. I really tightened it down. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Go. I'm afraid of taking the lid off too quickly. All right, I've got my cute little squeegee, y'all. If I'm in the um, Magnolia Design Craft Club, and this month they sent these really cute squeegees. They're red, white, and blue for Memorial Day. All right, so let me get some paste going here. Here. I'm just going to put a little bit on my little squeegee. I, my paste has gotten a little thick. I probably need to squirt some probably water in. I think that's what I've seen the ladies do that do this. So, so let's, let's just get some going. And I'm just going to do part of the message first. Now, now I know you guys have seen a lot, lot of people, people do these things. things. So I didn't, I didn't want, want to bore you to tears, but I want you to see everything that I'm doing um, with this cute little sign. I'm super excited. I think it's going to be really, really cute. it's going to be really, really cute. And y'all, I'm and not a, a big stencil, stencil person, mainly, mainly because, because I'm a, a painter, and I a paint painter and a lot of my stuff. Of my okay, okay, let's, let's get, get this excess off. And then we're going to pull this up. And then we're going to pull this up. And make sure, sure it, it did well. well. That's looking up. Oh, it probably needs a little bit more right here. The top, top of this tee. Here we go. Much, Much better. better. Much better. Okay. I'm not addicted to coffee. It's right Hot there. A little, little fuzzies going on cool. here. Fuzzies going on here. And then I'm just, just going to put the second, second part of the message down below. Make sure it's mashed in well. Let's get some more paste going here. Get some more paste going. So how's everybody doing? How has your Monday, Monday been? Mine's, Mine's been, been pretty good. good. It's been busy. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like I've, I've been, been productive, productive, which is which always, always a good thing. thing. Y'all, this Thursday night, night I, am so excited. I am so excited. I am going to be on I'm going to be uh, Craft Crush. Crush with Debbie and Sandy from Debbie and Sandy Design Co. And um, I'm so excited. They are some of the neatest people. And I'm kind of nervous because I've watched them interview some of the other creatives. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'd say if they asked me that question. So I'm a little nervous. So y'all join us. And um, I hope you can be there with us. I hope y'all will be kind. I'm a little nervous, but I've been texting with uh, Sandy today and talking about what we're going to do, so hopefully it'll all go well. I know, I know it will because they're fabulous ladies. I know it will because they're fabulous. We can't really go wrong when it comes to them. All right. There's that part. I'll close up my paste. Um, like I said, I am not a Magnolia designer. I just see a few things along the way, and I like what I see, so I pick it up. Okay. okay, so there's that part. All right, I'm, I'm not, not addicted, addicted to coffee. coffee. We're, we're just in a committed relationship. We're just in a committed I'm just gonna drop that stencil in there. So, so can y'all see this okay? Y'all see this okay? What does Lisa say? What does Lisa say? I'm guessing you might have a stencil that has a clip on it. I'm not sure. I'm not a big stencil person. Um. So I don't know the answer to that, Miss Lisa, but I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know why, y'all, I, I need to do more stencils, probably, need to do more stencils, probably. Okay, so there's that part. Let's set this to the side for just a bit, because, you guys, first of all, this is just a, this is just a side for a little tip here, but this, of course, is dirty, because I've had it in all kinds of places. I bought some cork boards. At Walmart, and they come like in a pack of four, I think. 
and they're very inexpensive. They're very inexpensive. But I covered them with fabric. But I covered and them. And then I just take straight pins and I hang them on the wall to um, just around my desk and around my sewing machines to kind of hang some things and um, kind of get some organization going on there. Y'all, my friend Jennifer Feely's trying to FaceTime me. <laughs> We've been talking back and forth and we haven't been able to connect. Jennifer, I hope you'll see I'm doing a live and you'll hop on here. Oh my goodness. I'll have to call her back when we're done. But okay, so the court okay. we're gonna use the court board. We're gonna use I'm gonna turn it over because this is gonna be our workspace for some quilling. Space for some says she's doing good in red, white, and blue. Ribbon wreath. Oh my goodness, I bet that's gorgeous. All right, All right, so you guys, so you guys I, think, I, think, um, um, I, I use Canva a lot with my graphics and stuff. Um, hey, Neva, hey, how are you doing? Y'all, my bifocals and with the camera like this, I have a hard time seeing it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see your comments. I might just have to just come back to the comments when all this is over. So I found this cute uh, little graphic of a coffee mug. Of a coffee coming out of it, very simple. And I'm going to use this as my pattern for the quilling. And I have learned it. So let me just say this as well. Let me pull the camera up just a little bit. So the other day, I did a quilling project. Um, um, it was one of the events. It was Sheila and, um, oh shoot, I've just drawn a blank. I've just drawn a Y'all, it's that time of day. No, but time anyway, day. I did an event a couple of weeks ago, and, and I, did I did some quilling, and I really hadn't, hadn't played, played around, around with it. Hadn't hadn't played played around around it. it. So I've got to say, Grace, Grace. I, I know, Lisa, she, she does, does have a big baby. baby. She, she called me Sunday night, Sunday no, no, Saturday night. And then we kind of texted back and forth a little bit yesterday, so I bet she's calling to talk with me some more, but I bet she'll look to see that I'm live. Um, so Jennifer, if you're watching, I'll, I'll give you a holler back here. I'll give just you a bit. holler back here. Yes, the fun in the yes, sun. Yes, the fun in the sun. Thank you, girl. girl. So, so I didn't, I didn't really, really know what I was doing on quilling, and I started doing some research, and I thought, oh, that's how you do it. So having said that, I bought some goods that's going to help me do a much better job. One of the things I've done is I bought these little bottles with the needle tip. Um, I don't know what you call it. The, it's just a needle I tip bottle. And I have clear blue and I have white blue. blue. These are very important when you're doing quilling because you can put just a very, very small amount of glue on the paper, on the paper strips. Um, and the less glue you use, the better. The other tip I learned was you just get a moist paper towel and you, and you put, put it in a bowl, bowl and in between uses, you stick your, your applicator tip into this moist paper towel and that's, that's going to keep the glue, glue from congealing and kind of stopping up your applicator. Up your okay. Applicator. So, so the, the other thing, thing I did was I got these strips of paper. Now you could probably put it on strips. Um, I, I decided, decided to go ahead and get packs of colored paper strips uh, just to make my life easier. And you know, they've got gorgeous colors. I'll show you some of them. So this is like... Um, um, came from one of the packs. It's like the packs. several it's different shades of white, uh, going, going from like white to ivory. ivory. I, I love, love paper. paper. I just love scrap I love paper. Stuff. I love scrap paper. And here's some of the other really pretty colors. Like um, this, this is, is sort little, of uh, uh, from gold, gold to some deep uh, burgundy gold. maroon colors. Let's see. You guys have to see these colors because they're so. Oh, I was looking for that one. Here's, here's some, some blues. blues. They're, They're super, super pretty. Um, oh, you guys, thank, thank you for the stars. stars. Thank you so thank much. much. You love quilling. Yes. Let's blue this. Here's, some, some, other yes. Here's some other colors of blue. It's kind of got some teal and mint green. Teal green. Teal There's black and gray. Y'all, they, they just, just come in all shades of the rainbow. Uh, here's, um, some uh, here's some oranges and pinks. I'm, I'm trying, trying to be sure my YouTube audience is getting to see these also. See these also. Uh, look at these purples. Look at these purples. Aren't they pretty? It's just, just so exciting. exciting. Here's, Here's some, some greens. I've got a couple of packs of different greens. Packs of one has a really dark green, and some has some this one has some olives in it. This is one that has more teals. Then you've got the blues and the purples. And you've got the blues. It just goes on and on. The different shades you can buy. So I have to show you guys. 
what I've what done. I've done. I've done. My little coffee bar sign because I thought it would be so cute. So, so here, here are. So here I'm are redeeming are myself. Redeeming are you ready? Myself. Are you ready? Look, I made, made this. this. So, so to do that, you curl the paper. You do curl do the paper. I'm going to show you. We're going to do one of these little coffee notes. Here's There's a red, a red one. one, and so I'm going to do it like this. See if y'all can see it a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see. Pull it back a little bit. So, so there's, there's one. There's one. Here's the yellow one. I'll show you that one again. There's the little yellow one. And I did a blue one. I did a blue one. All right. So now we're going to do one together. So I'm going to do one together. Guys how to, to do this. this. I, thought I thought this would be super, super fun. fun. I so I have my cork board. I'm going to turn you so back. I have my cork board. Okay. And I'm going to try to be sure I can see your comments too. This has been super fun. So, so I've got, got my pattern, pattern and I'm going to get some wax paper, paper and I'm just going to put the wax paper on top of it and I'm going to get some straight hands and secure it in place. I've learned a lot. I've watched a lot, lot of different, different tutorials. tutorials. I'm doing this. I can do this. I'm doing this. I can do it. Right. Right. I've got it All secured right. in place. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm, I'm going, going to place, place some pins right along. Now, there's now, different, different ways, ways to do this, but I was thinking about how to do it best for me, me. Um, so um, that I can get a little faster with this. And I don't want to do a bunch, but I'm kind of putting some pins along the top line of this coffee mug of this mug so that it's going to hold this paper strip in place while the glue is drying okay okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use white glue to start with to start with okay start with this is this tiny applicator i'm just going to dot whoops i had a hard time getting it to get a hard time to blow so I'm just going to put some dots right along that line. Right along. Okay. Okay. And we're going to do kind of this pretty blue color. And I'm going to, I probably shouldn't have put that blue all the way to the end like that. But I did. It's all right. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. get another straight pin. We'll get another. I'm just going to mash that down. Mash and that then down. I want to be sure and, and put, one at, the put one at the corner of this little coffee, coffee mug. Because, because we're going to wrap it around. We're going to wrap I'm going to go ahead and dot this glue. Okay. okay. And just dots. Just yeah. tiny just dots. dots. And we're going to and bend that around that, that corner. corner. And try to hold everything in place. So, so then I'm going to come along with these pins in this beginning little tab. This beginning to little get tab started is a little tricky, tricky to get, get it all going. going. And, and that's, that's probably partially going. because I'm still I'm learning, learning myself. myself. Let's, Let's go ahead and put, go ahead and put another pin another right there here. Pin. Okay, okay we've, we've got, got another, another little corner. Keeps wanting to pop up. It'll, It'll settle, settle down, down here in just a second. Because I'm, I'm messing with it. it. And, and I, because I want this to be a continuous, to be a continuous strand, strand, this outlining. Okay, I'm going to go along the bottom. Along the bottom. And I know some of this may be a little difficult to see. Um, um, I hope you guys can somewhat see. I'm going to put another pin at this other corner. Other corner. And I really want to be sure it makes contact with that glue. It makes contact with that glue. So while I'm holding this down, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more pins just to keep that in place. Just kind of mashing it down so that it's making contact with that glue. Contact with that glue. Let's go ahead and dot in 
Y'all these needle, needle applicators, applicators, needle applicators, applicators or whatever, you call or whatever you call them, make a huge difference in this kind of a project. Okay, and this this upper this upper corner corner has a little bit of curvature to it. Now I'm back now where we started. To where we started. I'm going to tear and I've learned it's, it's important, important to tear the paper instead of cut the paper because it exposes, because it exposes the fibers the and allows them to, to stay glued glue just a little more securely. Little more okay. Okay. So I'm going to add some glue right along this edge. Edge. I'm adding, I'm adding some more. I'm adding some little more pins, little pins, so that they will really connect. So I'm going to go ahead where this end is. I'm going to sneak a little bit of glue. I, I hope, hope you guys can see. You guys can see right along that edge. So we're going to let that sit. Can y'all see? Let me know if y'all can see. Okay. Let me see what questions you might have. Nobody's at, got any questions right now? Okay. Any questions right now? A lot of people are watching. That's good. Okay. okay. Good deal. Good deal. Charlotte, so, is, are you I telling me you can see good? I hope so, girl. Okay, okay so, so now we got to do the bottom part of the sauce. We're doing good. Good. And I'm going to, let me see if I can turn this around so y'all can see this side a little bit better. A little bit better. I have done a little bit ahead of time. Let me do it this way. Maybe y'all can see it. I want the clear glue. I want the clear glue. So I'm going to put some glue on that paper right there. Glue on that paper. And I'm going to use a straight pen to help me. Tweezers are also very useful in this kind of project. Y'all, I have been looking at some beautiful works of art that use the quilling. And I'm just dotting in. And I want to put a pen right at that corner. And right at the head and grab my tweezers real quick. Because I want to turn that curve. And keep everything in place. And keep everything in place. And once you outline it and the glue sets, it's a lot easier. The outline is a little bit tedious. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and dot in some glue because we're going to turn this curve. I'm going to hold it in place with all the fingers I can, I can get a hold of here uh, that I can use to kind of help guide this paper strip. Guide this paper strip. And I did when I started I, I did, did one on the last on the fun in the sun event. event. I, I did, did cut a lot of that paper myself because um I, I hadn't purchased any quilling paper, paper yet. I just was a little unsure. But y'all yeah, it's a lot better to purchase the quilling paper. paper. It's not very expensive paper. and it will make, make it's already pre pre measured and there's different widths. Widths. Um um, I'm just starting out with just, just a, a very normal, normal smaller width. 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 And y'all, there's some beautiful three-dimensional three uh, pieces, pieces that I've been watching some tutorials on also. On also. Okay, we're about to round this last corner. I'm just going to dot in. See if I can't work it in there. Then there's a whole nother technique called then there's like combing, and y'all, it just really gets uh, uh, somewhat some elaborate. I'm going to move elaborate. some of these pins because that, that glue is probably dried. Because, because I, I need to, I need glue to down. Let me get a hold of 
this is a whole thing over uh, this, this end. This end. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Let's see if I can a lot of pins in my way right here. There we go. Don't want it on the outside. All right, I'm going to put outside. some glue right to here. Okay. I'm going to use my tweezers. Now, I bet there's a whole lot of this we can remove pins for. So let's do that. Kind of see where we are with everything. So here to dry a little bit more, a little bit more, just to maintain its shape. Maintain its shape. Let's see how it's looking. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Okay. All right, let's do the handle real quick. Um, where's, where's it all? Here we go. We're, We're going to use, use the same process, process this. of dotting in around, dotting around the outside of that design. The outside of that design. Go ahead and tear off a little piece. And, and I'm going to bend, bend the end, end of this a little, little bit, bit so that I have, have a flat surface. surface to attach, to attach blue, blue to. And I get a pin. Try to secure that. It doesn't, it doesn't take very long for that to dry. To dry. This can be a little little tricky going, going around this curve, but you just have to shape it. it. So, so if you've got, got a place in the paper that it's wanting to kind of, to kind of bend and not bend, to like a uh, curve, I'm going to go ahead and tear this off because I know that's going to be too long. I'm going to go ahead and put a little edge right there. And if it's too long, just adjust it as we go. Adjust it as we go. So as you're putting pins in, I'll tear off a little bit more. Um, you're going to want to put it on both sides of the paper. So well, that it will follow the path that you want that paper, that paper to go. go. So, so I'm going to get down here to the end. Here to the end. Uh, what do I want? Uh, what do I want? I'm going to put a little, little crease, crease in that paper. paper. We're going to glue, glue that. It. We're going to glue that. Let's put a pin so, so that that, that, will that will maintain a good maintain shape. A good I'm going to let that dry right there. there. Let's, Let's see how, how the rest of this is, is doing. doing. I, I bet, bet we can take. I bet we can take these pins out. These that handle, handle sits. sits. And then you can so fill in a little bit. bit. I'm just going to put, let's see, let me see about how much, we'll just do about this much paper. You just kind of eye it. I'm just going to bend a little bit on each end. Just so it has a little bit of filling. It has a little bit of filling. Okay, I'm going to use my tweezers. I'm going to use my tweezers. Help me place it. Still have a little bit long, a little bit long, and you can. There's, there's no right or wrong way to do this as far as the, the fill in 
and for the sake of time, I mean, for the when I was working on these other ones, I was getting really particular, and it took me a little bit of time to get the pieces of paper exactly where I wanted them to be. But for tonight, I'm just going to kind of let it do whatever, and I'll go back in and fill. Um, just so, so that, that we, we can, can you can see how the process goes. Okay. This goes. So I okay. have these coils. So I have these coils that we're going to fill in. And, and I'll, I'll show you how I made them. So you're going to need a little slotted tool. Um, um, it's got, got a little slot right, right in the, the very end, end right there. And there. you just put, put your paper down in the, the slot. Point. Like so. Well, mine keeps sliding out because I'm trying to do it for y'all to see. All right. right. And then you just, just begin to just begin roll. To and I'm kind of applying some pressure kind of so that, that it's, it's a tight roll. roll. Okay. When I get, when I get to, the to the end, end I'm, I'm just going to let it release and it will uncoil by itself. So now, now we're going to start filling point. in our mug. And one of the things I want to do is the very end of the coil, I'm going to go ahead and secure with some glue. And this is where you'll really see how tearing the paper and exposing the fibers works in your favor when you start doing that kind of method. Um, I'm going to start, let's start at the bottom. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right along the inside of that frame in place, place the first coil right there. Now, now I counted it takes it takes about uh, about that's uh, I'm that's up. I'm up. Up. just uh, a little, little bit of glue. Probably when I get done and I get ready to and then I get ready to mount it on the the chalkboard it on the down a little bit because I'll be putting some glue on that too. It takes about twelve of these little coils. So I have the rest of these already uh, rolled and ready to go. So, so how, many many, you guys have tried? how many of you guys have tried? Is it something is it that you think you might like to try again? And, and uh, you guys, you can use uh, you guys, you can use um, coloring book, like coloring book um, patterns. You know, get your coloring book and make you a pattern. A pattern. A pattern. Now I these coils may be a little bit bigger than the ones I've done on the other little cups. Other little cups. So it so may not take twelve. I'm just, just holding the end just for a minute. Didn't it hold that on. one long enough. Hey, Becky, how are you doing? I'm so glad to see you this evening. We're doing, We're doing a, little a little bit of paper, paper quilling. A little bit of paper quilling. I bet I can pull these I ends I now. Let's see. That, 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 little handle handle has dried. that little handle has dried. Handle has dried. There we go. Okay. That little, little spot is doesn't want, want to cooperate. cooperate. All right. Let's, let's see if we can't get this coil worked into, into this corner. corner. Maybe a little bit of a tight fit, but we'll see if we can't get it, get it to work. 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 Okay. There's those three. Those three. I'm going to go ahead and come around the bottom and then up the side. And each time, though, we do need to secure the end of this coil. Hey, Tanya. Thank you for spreading the blessings, you guys. I'm I anxious to see. I was only about 113 away from 6,000. And so I'm anxious to see every morning and every night kind of how it's growing and what's going on with uh, us finally hitting that mark. Finally hitting that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Now these are budding right up against each other. Right it's going to be a tight fit, fit, so I don't feel the need to put in, in the pins. Pins. So oh, I am putting I'm some glue at, at each little wall, each little wall that I think this coil will come in contact with. And you just fill it in. Now what, what I may I'm do is go ahead and show you how I do the steam, steam coming, coming off. Let me, Let me do, do this the, last little coil because I think you get the gist of this, how it, how you just fill in. And there's a lot of different shapes to do. So I want to show you these little steam shapes. And then we're going to shapes, and then we're start putting our little coffee cups on this side. Coffee cups on this side. Let me just do this last, last one right here. We'll do a steam. steam. Okay, so, so I, I have some light gray, gray and I think I probably only need just about two, two and a half inches. Two, two and a half inches. I just kind of eyed it. I just kind of eyed it. I'm just going to coil this. Get it in a lot. Here we go. And I'm just rolling it on up in there. This is a very light gray color paper gray strip. Color, paper strip. Let it kind of just let it kind of unfurl a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, got a little me. Mm, got a little something in my throat. In my so this throat. is a pretty, pretty tight little coil. coil. So, so I'm, I'm going to actually unroll this a little bit and then re-roll it looser and then re-roll. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Allergy season galore. Look at the pot. I'm drinking here. Oh, I know. I, I drank all of it and I'm taking it. I drank all of it and I'm taking it back into the kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me, ladies. So I'm just trying to get the center of this coil tightened up, but I don't want the whole thing to be tight. It'll work itself out right here in just a minute. Okay, okay. well, I'm kind of holding that. Right. While well, I'm kind of holding that, you can kind of see. It's a little bit looser. Hi, Hi Tina, Tina. How, how are you doing? doing? Thank, Thank you for, for being, being here. In here. Got to get it to stick. <coughs> Goodness, y'all. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, so now, now we've got this looser coil. coil. I'm going to pinch it on each end. Like so. Can you kind of see? Like so. Can you kind of and, and then, then I'm, I'm going to shape it in kind of like an S. S. Kind of oh, like that right there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Next, I'm going to get a little bit of glue right here at the side on wax paper. I'm just going to tip the end into the glue and then attach it. Then attach right there. I am going to pin this so that it'll stay secure while it's drying. Okay. Now that we've got all that done, I'm going to go ahead and show you. How, How we're going, going to attach, attach these going to others attach these others onto our sign. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> Goodness. Okay. First, First I want to decide, decide where to put them. Decide where to and in my mind, they're just kind of mind, um, in, in different, different positions. positions. And, and probably, probably the, the little, probably the, little the newest, the newest, the, the newest one, 
<laughs> now, because we're putting this on black, black. I'm going to go ahead and close up. And I'll put that little lid down. I should, I should have put, put it where, where I can see it because they're pretty put clear. Where I can see it because they're pretty clear. Oh, okay. I see it. Oops, I pulled off too much. I'm trying to get this lid on this applicator. <coughs> Allergies, I can't hardly take, take it. it. Okay, okay, this, this is clear blue. blue. And, and this, this will also help these little pearls, pearls to stay in place. So I'm, I'm just, just going to put some clear glue. I put some clear glue. Let me get it flowing here real quick. There we go. Just kind of around. around. And when, when you get ready to pull it, off when you get ready to pull it off, you just want to take um, just a thin. Uh, I have like a thin stainless steel ruler that I just kind of slid between the paper coils and the wax paper. Paper coils and the wax paper. Let's see how that sticks. Sticks. We're just gonna let that sit. Isn't that cute? I think it's so cute. I think it's so cute. We're, We're just, just kind of running, running this clear glue. So, so if you, if you decide, decide you want to start getting, getting some of the, the stuff, it's, it's not, this is not an expensive hobby, y'all. This, this paper, paper, even in these packs, paper, it even was in not super pack. expensive. I got some at Hobby Lobby, some at Amazon. And, and, and um, this glue is just like the Elmer School glue. These little bottles, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, and they're not super expensive. But they're these little needle nose. These uh, little needle nose are very key. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit. <clears throat> If you have excess glue, you can take a little bit of water on a brush, like a paintbrush, and just kind of get that off. I wonder if I could just use a wet wipe. Let me just use this moist paper towel. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of wet wipe. Just to get that glue off. Just to get that. All right. And you could, this might be a good idea to do. Also, it's just to run a little bit of that clear glue around the outside in, you know, a few spots just to help it, just to help it stabilize. Stabilize. Mm -hmm. Now let's do this one. This one. Let me do it right here. So I'm, I'm just going to run some of this clear glue across. How are we doing on time? We got just a couple of minutes left. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So there's that, and, and then we'll, we'll put this other, other one down, down in this corner. corner. But so that's, that's how that looks, looks y'all. What, what do you think? think? Let me pull this back and up a little bit so I can like see you guys. Hi, Hi Angela. How, how are, are you? you? <clears throat> <clears throat> Marlene, this, this is, is a antique, antique like chalkboard sign. Like chalkboard sign that, that I've used a stencil to put this, this message on, but then we did paper quilling to make these little steaming coffee cups to add to the sign. Hi, Peggy. How, how are you doing? Thank you, Marianne. Yes, yes this, this is for my, my coffee bar. bar coffee bar. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad y'all like this. You guys, let me know if oh. paper quilling is something you think you might like to try. Thank you, Thank you Dolores. I'm glad you like it. I thought it turned out really, really cute. Uh, I, I love, love the dimension. Uh, I love the dimension. And um, 
it's just out of the ordinary. And I'm kind of liking things that are not typical and things that are out of the ordinary. Things that are. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I am so glad you guys love this. Love this. <laughs> You guys, guys, have to try. Have to try. Let, me Let me know. And I'm, I'm just, just going to go through and secure some of these areas with some clear some glue, areas um, with just, some glue. just to make sure it's not going to pop sure off at some point. point. But if it does, just apply a little more glue. But, but y'all, there's some beautiful, beautiful artwork, artwork that can be done with quilling. There's, there's a lot, lot of different, different things. So anyway, I am so glad you're here with me, you guys. It's time for me to say good night. Get ready for the next. I think there is ready for them for me. Um, Y'all be sure and check them out over on Craft Around the Clock. Thank you all, even you YouTube folks, for being here. Um, I just so appreciate your time, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. You're so welcome, Charlotte. Absolutely. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and I'll be talking to you all again very soon. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.